The 90-day fiancé franchise star Angela Deem is well known for her chaotic controversies with her husband Michael Isomi, and many viewers can't stand her or her escapades. Angela and Michael first appeared on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days for two seasons. The tumultuous couple often had troubles communicating and compromising. They split up, got back together, and eventually applied for a K-1 visa. Unfortunately, when the couple appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, Angela learned that Michael's visa was denied and they had to come up with a new plan. Angela traveled to Nigeria to spend more time with her fiancé before they decided to marry there and apply for the spousal visa. 90 Day Fiancé Angela and Michael's marriage took place in the franchise spin-off 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after, many 90 Day Fiancé fans would have thought the turmoil would slow down after the couple married, but that wasn't the case. Angela's behavior was slowly changing. The couple reappeared in the following season of Happily Ever After, and viewers grew tired of Angela and her disruptive behavior. After appearing on five seasons of the franchise's primary spin-offs, viewers have grown to detest Angela, Angela's borderline abusive behavior. Angela has always owned up to her crass attitude. At first, her radical honesty and powerful personality fascinated many viewers until she turned that behavior toward her husband. During her reconstructive surgeries, 90 Day Fiance Angela often blamed Michael for the problems she faced, including her inability to quit smoking and her lonely recovery. Whenever they got into an argument, the garish meme all would raise her voice, and many viewers believed she was verbally abusive. At one point, Angela attempted to have a hacker track Michael's phone in Nigeria, Despite that being illegal, Angela's destructive behavior continued to get worse with each season they returned. Angela as selfish. Michael has been clear about his wants, needs, and expectations within the relationship. Although he doesn't expect his partner to follow his culture to a T, he expects respect and wants to build a family with his wife, both of which 90 Day Fiance Angela appeared willing to provide until her wants superseded his needs. The couple has a 22-year age gap, and having more kids is out of the question for Angela. Michael wanted to spend the money on fertility treatments in a surrogate, but Angela spent the money on her surgeries. Despite Michael constantly speaking up and requesting that his needs get met, that always came last to Angela's wants. Angela Deem is overplayed. Much like some of the other franchise cast members, Angela is receiving too much air time. She has starred in three of the franchise's primary shows and several other spin-offs like Pillow Talk, 90 Day Diaries, and 90 Day Bears All. She's maintained a steady spot in the headlines with her selfish and abusive antics. Also, ever since she's had her surgeries, 90 Day Fiance Angela has been clogging up social media feeds with her new and improved look, which many viewers aren't favoring. At one point, her exploits were over the top, and viewers petitioned to have her removed from the franchise, but she still captures their attention. In the end, the growing animosity toward Angela can be attributed to many more of her personal characteristics. From throwing cake in Michael's face, when he attempted to apologize to physically lashing out, Angela has continuously blurred the lines of decency. Although viewers have contested her return, there are rumors she is red.